Hello there, Tenacious Baseball League uh, subscribers and followers. Um, this is Earl, and uh, this is going to be a little sort of a how-to video um, that I'm going to put together here. I've noticed, uh, I'll notice from time to time a question on a couple of different forums that I follow, and so uh, if I see one of those that I think maybe is something worth pointing out and taking a little time, because playing games, we usually breeze through things, and someone who's watching might not really uh, take the time to say, hey, what's this about? And so um, let's, this should help clear up a question or two, maybe. And if not, that's okay too. We're still talking through it. And if you have any other questions, feel free to comment. Um, but um, recently on his Facebook um, page, Fanomatic mentioned about uh, pitching weakness and what it's all about. Um, I think it was especially in reference to relievers. But we'll talk uh, about all pitching uh, in relation to advanced rules we'll do because I think at least within my league, that's what I'm using, and maybe another time we'll talk about Super Advanced. Um, there may be some other videos that are out there about Super Advanced, but I just feel like um, this would give us an opportunity to talk about this and give a little bit of insight as to what it means. So let's get right to it. So advanced pitching weakness, and I can zoom this in a bit and try to center things. Um, so the way that this usually works is that you've got a pitcher card, and so there's always going to be the word pitcher, and then a dash, and then a number. This number is the pitcher range, so that's a fielding number. That doesn't really make a difference. Then what you usually have is you're going to have whatever the pitcher is. Like Sometimes it's going to be starter, other times it's going to be relief. And then you're going to have, um, we'll call this uh, X, and we'll call this Y. So for X, that will equal, X, X and Y are both range. So what X equals is the inning where a pitcher... can tire so if x is five the fifth inning is the inning where a pitcher can start to tire um and why it's the same thing it's just spelled out a little differently and and i'll show you what how to really think about this to make it uh, become a little bit more um, uh, uh, transparent or whatever you want to call it, a little clearer. So let's take John Lackey's card. I'm going to be playing with the Cardinals, so I just picked three different types of cards here. So John Lackey is a pitcher. As you can see, we got the pitcher number, which is four. That's his range. Then you have starter seven. So that means that for John Lackey, a starter... Uh, can tire in seventh inning. So once you hit the seventh inning of a game that he started, <clears throat> he can start to tire. And I will explain what it means by tiring in a minute, but we're going to go through two other cases. So let's take Trevor Rosenthal. He is a closer. Again, pitcher three, three, that's his range. Relief in one in parentheses. So what does that mean? So it means the same thing. This is a Y. Same thing as X. Inning where a pitcher can tire. Well, his first inning of pitching is when he can tire. So for Rosenthal, can tire in first inning of pitching. So again, John Lackey, if he starts a game, can tire in his seventh inning of pitching. So when his seventh inning starts of pitching, 
he can start to tire. Trevor Rosenthal, when he starts his first inning of pitching, so that means that as soon as he comes out and throws a pitch, he can be eligible to be tired. Let's go Carlos Villanueva, reliever. Uh, three, relief three. Okay, so that means, let's write him down here, Carlos Villanueva can tire in his third inning of relief. So if he comes in, let's say he's... So what this really means is that the three, the larger the number, the more of a long reliever that player is. You're going to have some guys who are twos, which mean they're kind of like middle relief. Um, but there are a lot of middle relievers with just ones. <clears throat> Villanueva, he can go three, which means he's more of a long relief guy. What that means is if he's brought in in the fifth, let's say he's brought in with nobody out in the fifth, he gets three outs. So really, another way to think about this is, um, let's see, another way to think about relief, weakness inning. Let's take Y... Um, times three minus uh, uh, minus two, I think, is what it would be. So, like for Gar Carlos Villanueva, and that will equal the out on which he can start to tire. Okay, so again, what that means, so Carlos Villanueva, so let's see, he's a three, so if you go three times three minus two equals seven, so on his, when he, when it's his seventh out, just, so, so again, so let's say he comes in in the fifth with two outs, so the fifth inning with two outs, so let's go fifth, uh, one, two, so then he comes in here, three, we're going to go six, seven, uh, one, two, three, so that's four, and then one, two, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Here, this is his demarcation point. From this point forward, he can tire. So what does it mean to tire? Tiring equals three hits, Three walks or three hits plus walks. I mean, really, what you could just say is three hits plus walks um, in one inning. Or four hits plus walks in two innings, okay? So, Carlos Villanueva, after, so let's say in this case, he comes in uh, two outs in the fifth. So he pitches the sixth, pitches two outs in the seventh, and let's say after two outs, he gives up a walk and then two base hits. He is now tired. And tired, or weakness, whatever you want to call it, equals dot chances on pitcher card go to uh, single two-star chances. So um, it really, you know, it can debilitate. You know, some pitchers are going to be de different than others. Um, you know, let's take... Martinez here. He was the first. Wait, no. That's who's. Let's see. Let's take a look at who we have here. So Lackey, he he's on a seven and a six for his dots against righties, which means that the seven is the is the highest probability uh, roll. Six is second highest, tied for second highest with eight. So this is a pretty common thing that he he's going to get 
a lot of chances to give up singles once he gets tired. Against a lefty, uh, there's a chance or two less because you go against the, you get six and eight versus seven and six. As opposed to Villanueva, who he's down to a seven and a five, so it's a little less likely. Sometimes you'll see a guy with a dot up on the three and the four, which will mean that he gets less likely to get tired or the, the tiring isn't as difficult for him to deal with. So, And then what you can also have here, let's do one more example, Carlos Martinez, who will pitch in this game tonight that I'm going to play offline. <clears throat> you can have guys that have both. A six, he has a relief four. That's one of the higher relief ratings I've seen. So he is really a long reliever. And he can, as I, as I just showed you, you would count up to, you take... 4 times 3 is 12, and subtract 2, 10. So in his 10th out, he would start accruing these hits and walks equal, you know, being totaled to lead to his weakness. So that's what it's about. You can use that however you want. Most, I think a lot of people say a guy hits his weakness point and you should, um, uh, you should pull him out. You know, I think you can use your head as far as whether that is prudent. You know, some guys are going to be really good even when they're uh, weak, maybe even better than their bullpens. So, um, because you just, some bullpens are, no, not all bullpens are created equal, I guess that's what I'm saying. So, that's how it works. It's it's really, again, probably the best, like I said, the best way to, if you want to rationalize why they use the numbering system the way they do, it is, this is the inning where a pitcher can tire based on where he starts. So in his first inning of relief, Trevor Rosenthal can be tired. So right from the get-go. Uh, Carlos Villanueva, it's got to be once he hits his, once he's starting to try to get his seventh out. Um, and for a starter, it goes from the beginning because that's when starters work. Another time we'll go into super advanced maybe, uh, especially once I'm starting to play more of those types of games. So I hope this has helped. It's, it's a bit more simple than it seems, but there are some, it is a little tricky. Um, and at times the rule book can be a little bit on the confusing side just because there's so much to deal with. It's just such a, um, a compendium of rules and, um, it doesn't always, um, uh, you know, it's, it's not the type of reading that you want to do when you're, um, working on like two hours of sleep because you're probably going <laughs> to, it can be tough to, it's not to say that it's boring. It's just, it's, um, you, you might not catch everything the first time. So I'm hoping that if I go through these, uh, whenever I see something that kind of, uh, hits my mind that this will help you guys. Um, and again, please comment here with any other questions you might have, especially on the advanced game, but we could talk about basic. We could talk about super advanced. Um, I'm up for doing both. Uh, it's, um, and, and I'll tell you, like the thing with super advanced is, that, and even advanced, I'm not the expert, um, but I do think I have a pretty good grasp of things. So, and this also helps you understand why certain things are the way they are when a game is played um, online and maybe I'm in a rush and I don't explain why I do this or that. So that's the way it goes. Follow me on Facebook. Well, the league here, Tenacious Baseball League. That's the name of it on Facebook. They, we have a page over there. We have a Twitter handle, at Tenacious Strat. And um, the website gets a little bit of use here and there. TenaciousStrat.wordpress.com is where you can find that. Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped clear up advanced pitching weakness and how to calculate it and how to decide maybe which pitcher to bring in and when to bring them in. Have a good night, guys. And as always... Strat on.